I am Little Movie Perp, and my MME hot take is I think moviegoers don't want a good story. Now hear me out, hear me out, okay. I feel a lot of movie fans, film pundits, AI enthusiasts, and maybe even some critics that say, I just want a good story, don't actually. In fact, they probably don't even know what they want. We live in a time where we have access to stories from all over the world, and yet it appears we want specific stories told by specific people, and when we don't get them, we're mad and tell them to fix it or try again, never looking beyond what five, you heard me, five studios have to offer. That's sad. Now there's a movie out there called One Cut of the Dead. It's a magnificent film, a wonderful, inspiring story that could only be told through the magic of motion pictures. It came up with an innovative, fresh story, and more importantly, how to tell it. Nobody saw it. But Perp, it has subtitles, and I can't read! There's always a caveat, right? I want to see a movie, not read it. What, you think it's just fucking letters on the screen and nothing else? You can't read two sentences of dialogue fast enough that you missed an important visual cue? Let me tell you, unless you read at a third grade reading level, that's never happened to anyone. Okay? No one's ever missed a visual cue because they were reading a subtitle. Unless they're in a third grade reading level. Oh shit, I missed the old boy hallway fight because I was reading what the bad guys were yelling. That's never happened. Never happened. You know what the ultimate irony? Uh, you know, oh, actually, it would be the ultimate irony if the people, and I'm pretty sure it is, I'm pretty sure it is, if the people who say, I just want a good story, aren't willing to read it. I think that's pretty funny. Now, I understand that One Cut of the Dead isn't, isn't uh, quite uh, accessible because it's a foreign film, fine. There's another movie out there called First Reform starring Ethan Hawke. Good mainstream actor, right? First Reform is another great story dealing with such dueling, contradicting ideologies. I didn't even know it was possible that you could come up with a movie like that. That's how good the story is, all right? And it exists, all right? I just want a good story. I don't buy that anymore because those are out there. We're not watching them. We're not watching them, people. Stop saying that. You're not recommending. You're not, you're not doing any of that. Now, I think there's, uh, a lot of people think there's five basic, oh, uh, no, sorry, seven basic narrative plots and frameworks that you could work. I'm gonna list these frameworks right here. The number one, overcoming the monster. Number two, rags to riches. Number three, the quest. Number four, voyage and return. Number five, the rebirth. Number six, it just says comedy. And number seven, tragedy. That's it. That's all we're playing with, people. You can't do anything else, okay? So in other words, we've pretty much seen it all, and yet I just finished gushing about two movies praising its story and storytelling. How the hell, perp? Well, I answer with another question. Do you think Mario Bros. made a billion dollars because of its story? No. People will say it was respectful to the source material, and it was respectful, blah, 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 blah. Let, ter let perp tell you what audiences, you and me, me included, are looking for, whether it's consciously or subconsciously. What people want is for the filmmaker's intent to be clear and, full, and fully capitalized on. That's it. Whether it's Matt Damon and Leonardo DiCaprio creating tension with merely getting on the phone together in The Departed, or John Wick's shotgun with fire round set pieces told through a spectacular bird's eye view shot. These moments are brought to you by filmmaker's intent. A good story has always been a given, not a bonus. Filmmakers already want a good story just like you, with engaging characters wrapped around their original intent. It's always been the goal to the point that saying it means nothing. Trust me. And that is my hot take. Let's go. Hot take, hot take, we got another hot take! Hot take, hot take, hot take! I just got back, did I miss anything? 